Hey. Hi. Who are you? Ho. You want to learn how to make this terrific artwork with derivative touch design your. Ah. Okay. I'm just a puppet but I watch my master doing things with this software all the time. Let me get dressed first. You. Grab a coffee, a beer or whatever. You sure will need it. I'll be right back. One more thing. Be silent. I want to listen a little bit of music. First of all, let's import a 3D object from our hard drive. Then a null sup. A geo comp. With camera and light. Alright. Let's create a render top. And a fong mat. We ask our render to only consider it the geo one. In the fong mat, in advanced tab, we activate the world space position buffer. We need to ask for a second buffer in the render top as well. Render select top and yes. We have what we need. Let's create nulls and call them position and color. New GeoComp. Inside we need to create a point with the adsop and convert it to a particle. Don't forget the render flags. Let's use our two previous images to instantiate this shit. A line mat. We don't need lines but points instead. Right now, there is a problem because our points are limited to a fucking cube and we need to set up this render to 32 bits float. That's way better, you mother We now have a point cloud. Okay, so, this is the beginning of the second part of the process. Another render top, only rendering the Geo 2. We can now open the palette and get the new camera viewport. Not orthographic. The panel comp is the one above and the render top is render 2. I set a render resolution that fits with my tutorial, you can put what you want, I don't give a fuck. Let's connect it with the out top, and yep, here is where we are now. We drag the camera viewport to our render, camera, and we can now navigate through our points. Color is too dark, we can easily remediate to this by adding a math top, multiplying the value by 2 or 3. That's beautiful. It's important to notice that moving the first camera at this point, totally reorganize the point cloud, depending of its point of view. Now let's give a full rotation to this particular camera. Create a beat chop. Math chop, ranges, tab, from 0 to 360. Null comp. Put the current channel value to the Y rotation and drag the connection from the bottom of the node to parent it. Just before the last out top, create a transform top to set the background brighter. Let's make some space here and start giving a little bit of craziness to these points. We will use a fit top. In the resolution, let's say, 4000 by 300. Fill mode. Here are two pixels, A and B by stretching the image horizontally, we will create some interpolation, and some new points at very accurate positions. Do exactly the same fit for the color image. By doing that, we don't have points anymore, but some lines, kind of. 
I choose the MIP map interpolation for the position. We now have to deal with another artifact created by this interpolation. Lots of points are try to go to the origin of the scene. We have to delete every point who don't have a pure white alpha. We create a threshold top, alpha, 1, and a multiply top to get rid of these bad boys. More space near the beginning. A noise top. Just the noise. Not monochrome. And some animation. Abs time dot seconds. Create a first displace top. Then a second. Connect everything and start playing with the noise parameters. To make the whole thing more interesting, let's duplicate our camera system. So, we clone the camera comp and the null comp. A nice method is to increment the camera rotation by 180 degrees. Let's duplicate now the render and the render select. We create two layouts top to merge positions and colors images together. Okay, here we go. It's time to play with some parameters, in the noise, in render resolution, displacement, to get a large variety of results. I have already said that, but, do you even listen? It's done guys, I'm out. I didn't have much time to devote to you because, I didn't want to. To see more nice works like this one, you can find my Puppet Master on internet. Go home now.